Good evening, everyone. I am Professor Presley. This is Theatrical Garbage. And I have had a wonderful weekend. I hope you have had a wonderful weekend. We make movies here, and we make props, and we wear costumes, and we dress up, and we write scripts. And I'm always speaking in the royal we, but I'm always meaning the rest of Theatrical Garbage. And... I'm trying more and more to get those guys in and get more of them, you know, longer scenes with them so it's not my choppy usual style. Uh, but it's hard because we all have real jobs and we all are adults with lives and so it's hard. So that's why there's times when I just say, we go. I don't care. Whatever the script is, whatever, whatever we're doing, let's just go. If, if there's a scene there, if there's someone there. I would rather write a story and an idea and produce it than be in it. And it's just because I, I, I can write and I can direct. I can direct performances. I'm terrible at editing. Um, but every day I'm learning and getting better. Uh, but it's fun it's fun learning it's fun learning i mean it's not that i'm learning it's that i'm trying it's it's always changing the world isn't there's no centralized thing that we watch outside of the super bowl and i guess elections we watch trials big name trials we watch you know as a collective war obviously war news those sort of things and we're not trying to distract you from any 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 of your life in that way <laughs> any of the good stuff uh, we're trying to do we're trying to get you to escape from whatever and you're watching a small theater company grow and and i have had i've directed a lot of a lot of plays and i've written a lot of plays and and I've been in a lot of plays, and I love acting, and I, and I love music, and that sort of stuff. But I'm in a unique place in my life right now, where I have this great core group of actors, and musicians, and writers, and scientists, and, and <laughs> producers, and art. And all forms of art, right? And I'm trying every day to to bring more people in, not because I want them to work on my things. It's that, look, there are times in life when you cannot complete your dream or, or, or your dream is, is going to be you know, cut short. Or maybe it won't. Hopefully it won't. Okay? You, I, you speak it into existence. Right? But, but I have seen every pitfall that there can be in, in, in a production. I've had fire poured on me. I have seen things blow up that weren't supposed to. I have, and, and, and I've worked and been at and seen thousands and thousands of shows. I have spent, I, I, I used to, I, I've gone to a lot of concerts. I exaggerated the number recently. And Tommy has made me feel bad about it ever since. So, I now have to see 300 bands before the end of the year. But who cares? I think I got lost. No, I didn't. <laughs> so, I don't know how to communicate with the regular world, and I always embarrass myself when I talk, and, and so that's why... I don't know, I never learn from anything. Let's go back to filming, okay? I don't want to be the guy holding the camera. I don't want to be the guy that chops up all of the things. I don't want to be the guy that sets the lighting. It's fun. I like it. I like being part of it. And obviously, when you're directing or when you're building anything, anything that you're making, you get in there and you make that process. All right. You make it. You want to see my JLo pillow? Yeah. Yeah, I have a photo 
pillow of JLo. Daredevil. Daredevil was one of the first comics I ever read. I loved Daredevil. When I was in, and I've been reading comic books since a very, very young age, and collecting the toys, and drawing my own comics, and drawing all of these things, and writing all of mine, and, and uh, you know, I have all these different little companies that I try to build and make, and... And they've all worked out and been completely successful, and I have no worries, ever. I have spent a lot of the weekend writing and writing and writing and writing. There are times when I'm writing because I need to, and times because I'm writing because it's fun, and or I'm trying to get a point across. And last night, I started writing about geology, which is a difficult thing to make. Not, it's easy to make geology interesting. It's difficult to make a compelling story because geology is great. So I sat down to try and write it in a way where it's not just, you know, technical things. I try to put a lot of safety things in there and so I, I'm pretty safe when I go out like to the point where it's annoying in fact everything I do is to the point where it's annoying but I'm trying I don't like movies I won't watch something I don't like I have stuff that sticks in my brain that's stuck in there so I have to be careful with what I watch because I don't want to I don't want to be thinking about it. And not just because I don't want to feel bad and that sort of thing. But I don't... I try to avoid movies if they're going to throw me off in thinking about them. And I'm going to fill up space in my brain that should be on the project that I'm... On which I'm working. And... I always have a lot of projects going. I have... Like, I always have an idea, at least I hope I do. So, when we made Hercules Comet, the idea of all of, all, all of these movies, all of them that I put out, the idea is that they're supposed to fit together, and, it's, and there's not, like... It's not like, hey, in the end, it's a secret, it's my life. It's not, it's better than that, I promise. And it is a detailed story. And it may not exactly fit into the conventional idea of stories, but Hercules Comet has always been there. I've always wanted to do a big Bugs movie. Why did, why did Bugs happen? Why did they fall? And... I always knew, always knew, that the title of it was going to be Something Comet. Something with an H in Comet. That was set down in stone. Because I had three movies that I set out to make. Four contests and stuff. And one where I could, you know, get this, get this ragtag crew together. And it was Hercules Comet. And... Brazos Coward, Cowards, Brazos Cowards, um, and then, uh, North Atlantic Corsairs, which is the, <laughs> the third to that, and then all of it comes together in, in, in the end with, the uh, Zombies versus Dinosaurs, um, which is also the beginning, <laughs> and it's, like David, I love David Lynch movies. Love David Lynch movies. So if you ever want to talk about David Lynch movies. But I'm not trying to be David Lynch. I don't know who I'm trying to be. 
as being like self. But you know, I grew up loving Quentin Tarantino movies, and then, um, then I actually went into kind of study film and go, what do I love about film? What do I love about telling stories? What do I love about these sort of things? And it's the process is what I love because you get to work with people. And when you're working on a project, it's bittersweet when it's done. I have wept on the stage at the end of a performance. The end of like a long run. Yeah. Cathartic. Character is dead. I don't play a lot of repeat characters. One, because I'm terrible, I would imagine. <laughs> you know, I can't get parts anymore. All right. I guess I don't audition very much. I make my own movies. <laughs> okay, I'm scattered brain every time. <sighs> go to, go to, go to Silver Age Comic Con. Go to Free Art. Go to, go to, go to Iron Snake shows. Go to Solar Pit and Barrel 50 shows. And buy stuff at Mama Lady Lens and Blair Seagull. Thanks for coming by. From JLo and me. Please have a good night. Stay cool tomorrow. In your mind and body. And I'm going to go to sleep on the couch with JLo. Good night. sleep more.